It was a rough one for the Bobcats today, dropping an 18-2 game against the Kent State Golden Flashes here at Bob Run Stadium. With the win, the Golden Flashes completed the weekend series sweep of the Bobcats. Things were over before they started for the Bobcats. The starting pitcher Connor Sitz lasted just two-thirds of an inning, giving up six runs. Jake Miller came in to relieve Sitz, going four innings, giving up eight hits and five runs, three of them earned. The Bobcats did manage to plate two runs in the bottom of the third on back-to-back -back Jake Madsen and Tyler Wells' RBI hits. Kent State's offense was relentless on Sunday. They totaled 19 hits and were helped out by three Bobcat errors. With the Bobcats bullpen now depleted, the team will need some consistent offense to stay competitive in their upcoming games. Really it's more about trying to put as many bats in the lineup as we can get to be honest with you. We've, we've probably sacrificed a little bit of defense in a few spots uh, just to try to get some offense. And it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword that, you know, if you don't score, you know, you're still not going to win a game. And um, so we're, we're trying to find guys that can they can play better defense, but we've also got to try to find some ways to score runs and, and uh, put some guys in there that might give us a chance to do that. The loss drops the Bobcats to 5-23 and overall this season with a 1-8 and record in the MAC. Meanwhile, the Kent State Golden Flashes advance to 19-10 and on the season with a 7-2 and record in the MAC. The Bobcats travel next on Tuesday to take on the Marshall Thundering Herd. For WUB Sports, I'm Josh Rogers.